Okay, everybody, this is my review on the Skyline TGT Neo. And this rubber is a very tacky rubber. It gives you great spin. It's very tacky. Hold on, let me take off the top sheet. Let me show you guys. See how it peels off? It's all sticky and shit. My finger doesn't hardly ever move. Very, very tacky rubber. So, if you get one, you're going to have to really clean it off after you're done playing. But, okay, let me go into how it works. So, I was playing with this rubber last week. It was really good, really good. Had great control for my first uh, four to six hours of playing with it. Then I come back the week after that. Uh, my control is not the same. Maybe it's because the rubber's gotten a little bit more worn in. And I haven't figured out how to play with it yet. Or it's just like uh, one of those rubbers that go downhill after the first couple plays. So I'm going to give it another week. And uh, review it again. And let you guys know how it's going to go. And... As of right now, uh, my opinion on this rubber is not very consistent, except for the first six hours that I was playing with it. It was great. It was great. But I can also say it was a good price. The price was like, what, 20 bucks? Not super expensive, not super cheap, but it was somewhere in the middle, you know? But it's a good rubber for what it costed. <clears throat> Would I get this rubber again? Maybe. If I started playing Chinese Pent Hold. And put it on my backhand. It would definitely be a backhand rubber. Because it's really sticky. And tacky in grips. <clears throat> it's control and spin. It has a high arc. So. Anybody that's looking for a high arc. This is it. Um, let's see what else about this rubber. Um, it comes in, like, two different thicknesses of the sponge. And it's really, really hard sponge. It's a really hard sponge. So, if you guys, it bounces really well. You know, everything... Everything about this rubber is decent, but I want to give it another review in a week and see how everything's going. Alright, I'm out.